Hello everyone. Today we are going to derive a formula for the horizontal thrust of a two hinged parabolic arch. Let us read the question one time. Derive the horizontal thrust formula for a two hinged parabolic arch when it carries uniformly distributed load for the full span. Also prove that the bending moment at any section xx is zero. One condition is given, the second moment of area varies as the second of the inclination of the arch axis. So in this problem, we have to find two things. We have to find the horizontal thrust. Also, we have to prove the bending moment at any section xx is equal to zero. In this arch, L is span or length. Small h is the rise of the arch. Caps H is the horizontal thrust of the arch. VA and VB are vertical reactions. Now let us calculate the vertical reactions. This arch is having symmetrical loading conditions. So we can easily calculate the vertical reactions. You can see that the UDL is acting symmetrically for the full span of the arch. The vertical reactions will be equal to the total load divided by 2. The total load is equal to WL. Because when the UDL is acting, we have to multiply the load with the distance to get the total load. So the total load is equal to W into L. We are getting WL. VA and VB will be equal to the total load divided by 2. In this way, we are getting V A is equal to V B is equal to W L by 2. We know the formula for the horizontal thrust. H is equal to integration of m naught y dx divided by integration of y square dx. First, let us calculate the numerator. Integration of m naught y dx. To calculate this, we have to make sections in this arch. In this arch, only one section is enough because the UDL is acting constantly for the full span. So only one section is enough. We can make the section anywhere in the arch. You can see that I have made a section randomly at a distance of x from the point A. Now let us find M0. M0 is the moment without considering the horizontal thrust. Let us calculate the moment about the section. I am going to calculate the moment from the point A. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anticlockwise will be negative. Up to the section, we are having two loads. The vertical reaction in the point A, WL by 2, and the UDL, W. The vertical reaction in the point A is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is x. So WL by 2 into x. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative. When the UDL comes, we have to take the distance and a distance by 2. Here the distance is x. So x into x by 2 x into x, we will get x square. Here, we can take wx by 2 outside because it is common. Finally, for m0, we are getting wx by 2 into l minus x. Also, we know the formula for y, which is equal to 4hx into l minus x by l square. Let us apply the values of m0 and y in the formula. Then we can take the constants outside w by 2, 4h by l square or the constants. We can take them outside. Then we can cut 2 and 4. Here we will have 2. Finally, for integration of m0 y dx, we are getting this. No need to make the integration. Let us keep this in this way. In the horizontal thrust formula, now let us calculate 
the denominator integration of y square dx to calculate integration of y square dx only one section is enough because the value of y is changing constantly for the full span of the arch so only one section is enough I have made the section randomly here since the value of y is changing constantly for the full length of the arch the limits are 0 to L we know the formula for y 4hx into L minus x by L square we can apply that in the formula now let us take the constants outside 4h by L square are the constants but we have to be very careful before taking the constants outside we have to square them when we square 4h we will get 16h square when we square L square we will get L power 4 finally we have made an expression for integration of y square dx in the horizontal thrust formula we can apply the values of integration of m0 y dx and integration of y square dx here we are having one common value this integration is common we can eliminate we can take 16 h square by l power 4 inversely and then multiply we can eliminate l square here it will be square also we can eliminate this 2 here it will be 8 finally we have made an expression for the horizontal thrust which is equal to wl square by 8h in the question we have been asked to prove that the bending moment at any section in the arch is zero let us make a section xx at a distance of x from the left support in this section we are going to calculate the moment from the point a here we are moving towards right hand side clockwise will be positive anti clockwise will be negative now let us calculate the moment the vertical reaction va is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is x so wl by 2 into x the horizontal thrust wl square by 8h is acting towards the section in the anti clockwise direction so it will be negative for the horizontal thrust the perpendicular distance is y we know the formula for y let us apply that the udl is acting towards the section in the anti clockwise direction so it is also negative when the udl comes we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2 here the distance is x so x into x by 2 let us eliminate this l square and this l square also we can eliminate this h and this h 2 fours are 8 here x into x we will get x square then let us multiply wx with l minus x wx into l we will get wlx here we are having negative sign here also we are having negative sign minus into minus it will be positive so minus wx into minus x we will get positive wx square then we can eliminate wlx by 2 and minus wlx by 2 also we can eliminate wx square by 2 minus wx square by 2 finally we are getting 0 so it is proved that when the two hinged arch carries udl for the full span the bending moment at any section will be 0 we have made an expression for the horizontal thrust when the arch is loaded with udl for the full span suppose if the arch is loaded with the udl for the half span we have to divide the horizontal thrust formula by 2 in this way we are getting wl square by 16h so we have made two expressions if the arch is loaded with the udl for the full span 
The horizontal thrust formula is WL square by 8H. If the arch is loaded with UDL for the half span, the horizontal thrust formula is WL square by 16H. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.